As you can probably tell, I am a big fan of Legends Arceus, and when they announced that there would be a Pearl and Diamond clan leader set, I was pretty excited, because basically what happened is that the Pokemon Center opened up pre-orders by lottery for this without revealing the visual. The visuals for these were not revealed yet, so you didn't know what was going to be in this or anything, it's just that it cost like 5,000 yen, and you had to apply for lottery, and it wouldn't, the lottery would close before you would know the contents, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to apply for both. And I managed to hit the Pearl Clan Leader. I kind of want the Diamond one a bit more, but we can't complain. But this one is beautiful. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see. This is a big storage box, essentially, that you get uh, with, you know, the entirety of the Pearl Clan. But only Irida has actually been made into a card. Like, none of the other members of either of the clans have been made into cards yet. So, you can only actually get this at the Pokemon Center or at official Pokemon card gyms, which is, like, official stores that support the Pokemon TCG and organize events. And then uh, inside it, we get four packs of V-Star Universe, uh, a pack of sleeves of the key visual, a card file, so a binder, as well as a little display frame. So pretty good. And then here we have all the energies, energies, as well as, you guessed it, energies. The back contains the contents of the set. So once again, just shows you the same thing that you saw before and how to make those display frames. And they're pretty nice. I can show you, I have one already. So I have one of these display frames and I basically put it up like so. So this is like an old one that came out and then I just basically put the Pikachu that came out in the Zoroark set in it. So they look pretty nice, honestly, they're pretty good. So yeah, I hope those of you watching enjoyed the last video we did with uh, V-Star Universe. This is going to be the second one. We're not going to be doing more after this, don't worry. Um, I have more boxes coming in, but I think I'll just open them on stream when it comes to that. But V-Star Universe is a very, very hot product. It is, you know, everyone wants to open packs and get some good pulls. And, uh, you know, I got that box of V-Star Universe that we opened in the last video that was pretty damn good. And um, if this is even half as good in terms of the packs, I will be very happy. All right, so we take off the protector. It just looks like this. It's just a hollow little thing there's nothing else on it and we get basically a storage box surprise surprise um what could you have expected and it opens up from the top and reveals a divider so we have a little divider here so this is used to divide the insides of the box itself and then we have little screws for the stand and then this is the actual stand in here it's stuck by tape but this is what the stand looks like. It's pretty nice. It has little Irida up top with uh, holding, what is it, a Glaceon, and there's an Eevee coming up to it. And then uh, there's, what is it, just Pidgeys, not Pidgeys, uh, freaking Starlies, my bad, uh, all around. So very nice, very nice, looks pretty. So you can put a card inside there and uh, they kind of frame this inside the thing to look like this. The pack of sleeves actually looks pretty good too. Like these sleeves are nice. I kind of want to try to find the Diamond Clan ones too, because they look really cool. I'll show a picture here. Um, so definitely gonna try to hunt them down for a decent price. People are reselling these. Like this normally goes for like 5,000 or 6,000 yen. I can't remember what the exact price was, um, but you basically get like four packs of these. This good. These go for like 500, 600 yen per pack. So that's already 2,000 yen. And then you basically pay for this box that has a bunch of empty space to be honest like gonna take out everything here and so it's just an empty box that you can use for card storage which is nice and on top of that i took it out here but we get a small small little little binder it's actually a pretty tiny one um it opens up like so and then it's like a four pocket binder and then you can basically ooh, apply for a lottery and win a pack i will keep that to myself thank you so there you go four pocket binder i guess i'll use this to show off i actually don't have a binder for pokemon so it'll be nice to use this for some collection purposes so anyway that is the storage box it looks pretty nice i'm actually quite a fan of the design and i generally speaking use storage boxes a lot for storing actual cards but of course let's open up these four packs of v-star universe and see what our pulls from this one are going to be and we also have another box of V-Star Universe to open up because otherwise the duration of this video would be way too short so let's open up and see we have a little ghastly to get things started here. Oof, look at this texture. Look at that quality. Oh my. All right. Ghastly Paris. Man, I used to always, you know, like, it, like I, I used to do videos just opening Pokemon packs when I was a kid. Um, and obviously all of those are now private, but it would all, all just be like reading out card names. I almost caught myself doing that. <laughs> it kind of brought me back. Zero RV Star. This one is available in a starter deck, but pretty cool. Mill Tank. That's pretty nice. Good rare. 
Uh, all right, and then another Flaffy, which is pretty good, of course. Good little Shatter to get. It's my second one, uh, so can't complain. Can't complain. It's nice that we get some extra packs at least. So if we can pull an alternate art, I'll be pretty happy because those are pretty hard to pull. Origorio, so this is the uh, good card for Mew, of course, as a one of. We have a Level Ball, the Fan of Waves, uh, Ultra Ball, pretty nice. The Psychic, uh, freaking Zashian. And then another copy, <laughs> pulled quite a few of these, of the new V-Star Power uh, Stone Tablets. Oh, nice! I actually didn't have this yet. Radiant Charizard, and it's like beautiful and shiny. It's like, let me adjust the lighting a little bit, it's a bit dark. <laughs> so we have ourselves a Radiant Charizard. This is a really nice card that is a brand new art too. I actually wasn't a big fan of the Pokemon Go one, because it had like the big Pokemon lo Go logo here. But what this one does is... Um, he costs one fire and four colorless to deal 250 damage, um, but basically next turn you can't use this attack, but it's pretty good because it one-shots anything uh, for the most part. And basically this says that if, um, basically depending on how many uh, prize cards your opponent has already taken, it's like the reverse of Vanguard. You have like, you start with six cards in damage and you take one every time you knock out something, um, or more, depending on what you knock out. And basically his, the cost, colorless cost for his attack becomes uh one less for every like uh, price card that they took so you can basically make this go like one fire energy for 250 which is really strong so that's kind of the strength of it so very good very good card to pull actually i'm very pleased with that honestly already makes the uh because you only get one radiant per box so that's honestly a very good card to pull as like from a random packs to have among us uh the lost sweeper oh latias again we've seen this <laughs> Oh my god, we pulled the SAR Darkrai, and for those of you that watched the previous one, you will know that we've gone and done it again. <laughs> That's crazy, I didn't think I would double up on an SAR. Oh, there's an SR, is that, a, is that an SR supporter in the same? SR supporter in the same pack, oh my, dude. This is crazy. All right, we, I'm already going insane. I, I want to sleep this. Let's 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 open the pack first. S A R Dark Cry V Star to boot to start. Oh my god! I just noticed a door there. That's like from like the mission where you get Dark Cry. All right, there's a supporter. The one I want. What's the one I want most? Elisa Sparkle would be really cool. Elisa Sparkle or uh, Elisa Sparkle is like the one I mo probably want the most or. Irida. Irida would be insane too. Oh, Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Woro. Uh, what was his name again? Freaking, um, his name is Woro in, in Japanese. Oh, yeah, it is just Bolo, 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 right? It is Bolo. Okay, cool. Pretty nice. It's not exactly a great card, uh, but a full art trainer is a full art trainer. I'm not gonna complain. Would have been crazy to get like a Giratina with this, because there's like some really crazy, like, extra insert uh, cards as well. Dude, from four packs to get. An AR, a V-Star, a Radiant, and an SAR is unheard of. Like, this is not even a box. This is just like random single packs. <laughs> we put these in sleeves. We put these in sleeves. This is insane. Could not get better. Could not get better. I mean, like, I'm just shook. All right, last pack. Not expecting anything from this one. Let's just open it up. Dude, just opening this set is so fun. Like... There's so much enjoyment to be had out of just opening this. Oh, the Manaphy! Nice! An AR is on top of everything. AR Manaphy with, uh, this is the, the bench barrier one, so very thankful. So we'll put that aside. Dialga V into the uh, Latios and the Keldeo. Okay, nothing too crazy. But, I mean, these four packs have been crazy enough. Like, look at this. We got the Radiant Charizard, the two ARs, like the Manaphy actually was waiting for. I really wanted this. And the freaking Darkrai V-Star SAR with the Volo. And then our, uh, basically one V, two Vs and a V-Star, which is pretty good. And then of course, our rares here as well. But we still have another box to open, so let's go do that. All right, let's finish this off with the one box of V-Star Universe. So this one I got from a local toy store. Literally, there's a toy store around the corner from where I live. And I was just coming home after like searching for boxes in other places. And I saw on the door they said like V-Star Universe, like one box per person. So I entered and I was like, do you still have some boxes? And I was like, yeah, yeah, we do, we do. But we're like, we need your phone number and your name just to make sure that you don't like um, try to buy more. 
and um on a, on a different date and then basically you know i just did that and then they took off the like wrapping themselves because they like that's a countermeasure to make sure that scalpers don't buy stuff um so it's really 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 nice little toy store honestly they were super the owner the person working there, i'm not sure if it's the owner or not but it was super chill super friendly so i'm pretty happy all right hisuyan friends kibana nice finally i actually don't have any of him so that's pretty good level ball oh we have an ar off the bat Oh my god, SAR already? Huh? What? Please don't tell me it's a Starcry again. Alright, should I just put this aside? I kind of want to just put it aside, to be honest. I kind of want to put it aside and keep the excitement for the end. So this is a B-Barrel, and then hold up. Uh, let me try to check the last card. Dude, there's two SARs. <laughs> I will keep this for the end. I will keep this for the end. We will look at this at the end. I want to keep the excitement until the end, okay? <laughs> These boxes are too insane. Why does it keep being the, the early packs? It's like from very early on. I think the god pack was kind of in the middle. Oh, nice. This is the Kiwawa that I would like to get some more of. Ooh, Mirage Gate. I think I should, I should have four by now. Another lost... Um, it's called Sweeper in Japanese, which is kind of funny. Gen C, ooh, Professor's Research, and Among Us. Very cool. You know the kids love Among Us in these streets. So, I still have two more boxes, actually, that I'm getting uh, a week later. So, on a Monday. So, it's going to be actually very cool to open up some more. Because just opening this set is like... it's It feels so good. That's all I can say. Oh, yeah, right. Belt got reprinted. All right. Then we got a V... With an Absol and okay, nothing much. I think the power is residing within these last three cards that I'm saving for the end, which is crazy. <laughs> it's actually insane. All right, we have Regieliki. Oh, this is the Poncho. This card is actually pretty annoying. I faced against like some deck that was using this. Oh, another V Star Arceus. Nice. That's a V Star. I'm very happy to see. Um, just because I need more Arceuses. If we can pull the regular Arceus V as well, I'd be pretty happy. All right, another Hisui and friends. So he's saying friends and like, uh, what is it? Sino friends, like cards themselves aren't particularly great per se. Okay, this is not open up, dude. <laughs> Why does this pack not open up? What are you hiding? What are you hiding inside? I am very curious about this. All right, let's take a look. This one was very hard to open, so I'm expecting some insane pulls. It's already not a god pack, but dude, starting off things with a god pack was uncalled for though. Oh yeah, right. The freaking electrode, uh, the soon electrode is a uh, is a V actually in the set. That's true. Articuno, Moltres, and oh nice steel. I actually said this earlier. Like I was hoping that because I really like fighting types, so I pulled the fighting one, and I love steel types, so I pulled the steel one. So pretty happy about that. I open my next boxes that I uh, open up from the uh, Pokemon Center that I get in a week's time. I can pull some water ones, because the water ones are kind of the ones that I actually am playing right now. So, would be appreciated. Alright, Among Us. Oh yeah, Mewtwo V-Star. That did actually get a reprint. So, Mewtwo V-Star is okay though. It's not a crazy card. It's pretty decent. Alright, let's put this here. Uh, okay, well now we actually did finish the whole squad. We actually got one of each. These are new art too, right? I'm not tripping. They do look slightly different from the originals. Got a Mew. That's good. I like the Mew, because... Uh, Definitely need, I think, am I at four now? It's not, I'm at three. So I'll try to pull the last one in the last two boxes. I haven't pulled enough Zoroarks. The, uh, like, transformation Zoroarks. Definitely need those. All right, Path of the Peak. Cricketune, Melanie, she's had so many reprints. Oh yeah, dude, this, um, it's called Fox Rai in Japanese. Uh, what was his name again? He's like the, um, Thievil? I think Thievil was the name. This art is super cool, like the colors on it is super sick so this is the ar pretty cool honestly like the ars are something i would like to just collect like normally to be honest like they look super sick another charizard into a moltres regular moltres here and a gengar all right we're getting close to the end all right for all the sars the sar i want the most is uh he swings or orc i'm planning to buy three of them regardless <laughs> if i pull them or not um, and then pray, pull the fourth, essentially, is what I'm going for. Alright, Mewtwo V into Bascu Legion into Mill Tank. Alright, I put this in the wrong pile. And then a Sinnoh Temple. Pretty good. Alright, last pack. Oh no, two more packs. So we'll open this one and then we'll stack the end of that first one onto the end of the, the last one. <laughs> Dude, 
This is insane. Damage pump. Cynthia. Uh, this is the... What is it? Like... Kirino Suisho, it's like the Mystic Ball something, can't remember the name. Giratina V-Star, doesn't matter what the name is, Giratina V-Star is here. Looks beautiful, sadly kind of fell off a little bit because like Lost Box is just better without Vs in it, it seems. So, good pull anyway, might be playing this in the future. Deoxys, oh and our Radiant is going to be doubling up, it's going to be the Eternatus, but honestly pretty good. Don't mind that because I already got uh, Zoroark, <laughs> not Zoroark, uh, Charizard and Greninja as well, so honestly can't ask for more like... That's the, uh, definitely the, like, Radiant that, the two Radiants that I wanted by far the most. Alright, let me add these pulls to the back of this pack, and, uh, we will see what they are at the end, because it's bound to be insane. Alright, oh, Flaffy, I haven't seen too many regular Flaffies, I've just been pulling the Mirror ones, which I can't complain about, because they're good cards. Oh, there is the freaking, um, Nokochi, what's his, uh, freaking, uh, Dunsparce. This is the S. This is the AR for Dunsparce. I actually really wanted this because I, I'm like sometimes I play Dunsparce in Zoroark. Sometimes I don't. Depends on like if the meta is calling for it or not. But this basically removes any weaknesses from your colorless type uh, Pokemon. So it's honestly the art is so cool. It's actually super pretty. I'm a big fan of it. All right, that's nice. And then we have a Machamp V into a Latios rare and a Storinda. And then all right, so we had a Zapdos. AR, we've seen this, this is like the third one I'm pulling in this one. And then this is an SAR. What is it gonna be? Oh, I don't think I've even seen this one before. Damn, it's the Hisuian Samurott SAR. Wow, that's actually so beautiful. Look at this, it's such a beautiful scenery. I didn't know that this... So like, we have another SAR after this? Oh my god. Is it or is it a supporter? It's a supporter, oh my god. Dude, we actually have a double double SAR pack. <laughs> That's why opening this set is so crazy. Like, even if you don't play the game, it's just crazy to open this. You can see my face is getting like more red as we open, but damn, that's so beautiful. Like, sadly, his Sweet and Samurai isn't super great right now, but it's still a pretty hot pull. And like the, the trees like textured separately, it's crazy. Alright, it's so a support again. My wishes stay the same. It is Elisa Sparkle and the Irida. Let's get it. Oh! Oh, but that's a good one! That is a very good one. Hibana, everyone's favorite influencer, is in S-A-R. So he's, he literally is signing the Pokeball for one of his fans. That is so cool. All right, I'm very happy about that. That is a pull that I am not complaining about. Oh my god. All right, let me put this in the sleeve. All right, let's summarize the pulls one last time. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 rares this time. And some pretty good ones at that. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of the Vs. Then 3 V stars this time. So Giratina and Arceus. Arceus, of course, very thankful. Starbirth. Very good card. <laughs> very, very good card. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Shatter Foils with the Rescue Among Us carry. Pretty good. And then we have our uh, Mugen Dyna Radiant, pretty good, and the Steel Energy as well. And then we have three of the Art Rares, so the uh, freaking, like, Dunsparce is a big win for me, so I'm pretty happy about that. And then the two SARs, which is insane. Very, very cool, honestly. Insane box as well. Not as insane as the first one. I think it's hard to top that one. But nevertheless, was still super cool. All right, so that will do it for this opening of the uh, extra box of Vistar Universe, as well as the pack, or, well, not pack, the uh, box of the Pearl set. So if you liked the video, please give it a like. I will be opening some more boxes, but I will probably be either doing them on my Twitch or just some offline <laughs> by myself. Uh, but I feel like rolling the camera for Pokemon has been buffing my luck, so might just roll the camera and do it on stream or something like that. But if you like this video, please give it a like and uh, me losing my mind at Vstar Universe. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. But otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.